Bubble Pop Kids here. It is Monday and we are back to the squishy chopping table. Let's look at this stuff. Well, teenies, we are back to the squishy chopping block. Oh, it's such a good weekend, you guys. I celebrated my birthday. I turned a year older. Oh, didn't like that. But I had such a good time. And the best part about this weekend is I saw my sister. I haven't seen her in a super long time. And she decided to make me some homemades. I got two homemades from my sissy. I'm so excited. More excited than usual with these squishies because we got some special ones here on my chopper. So this past Saturday was my birthday. I had a party with my family and my friends. Everybody was there and I saw my sister. I haven't seen her in like three months. I haven't seen her in the longest time. She actually lives in California and she came. She surprised me and while she was here, she made me a couple squishies. Colleen took a little break. She actually made me this. I couldn't believe it. And she gave me this. She said to open it. Some squishy surprise. Oh, are you serious? Like your sister gave you a happy birthday princess poopy cup squishy. She's crying. Actually, that was getting a little depressed because she was here only for a few days and she flew back. She's actually back home already. So these are my little memories of her until I see her again. But we're still going to chop them up. I also found this little baby right here, and believe it or not, it's not a squishy, it's not even a toy. It is a code pack. It's like when the little ones or yourself get a little boo-boo or a bruise, you pop them in the fridge and it's like a little icy pack, except I think there's like Orbeez. There's like little blue Orbeez. There's something weird in there. Shut that up. Oh, uh, you got this at Walmart. Cool. We got those two home meats. We got that little coldy pack, whatever that thing is. I got you a banana. Now this one is from Colleen. She got it for me a couple months back and I just have not wanted to chop it. But I thought, why not? I think today's the day. It just looks so, so real. It is squishy. It's squeezy. Stretchy. I love it. I love it. Oh, it looks so, it looks too real for words. Another one my bestie Colleen got me a while back too. I've had it and I haven't opened it. Is this little pea pod. Now this thing, I have seen these before. I think I actually had like a tiny one, but this one is so cool. Just look at it. It's got these little peas. I think it's got two little peas popping out. And it is so like, it's like jelly. <laughs> it's got the coolest, coolest texture. Um, great, we are chopping up banana. We are chopping up pea pod. And what is this? Bouncing clay. The final little squishy thing we have. I don't think we're going to chop it, but we are going to squish on it. It's called bouncing clay. And it looks like there's two different colors. I haven't opened it. I don't really know what it feels like. It shiz. Easy to use. Air drying. No mess. Soft and light. Check that out soon. Hey, Bubble. Enough with the chit chat. Chop this stuff open. You got your plage. Let's do it. Everybody, you know what time it is, and like I always say, like a broken record, if you're ever going to do this at home, just make sure you have an adult or parent supervising, because you don't know what's in these little squishy teens, and the sissies are sharp. Come on. Let's do it. Here you go, Bubble. First squishy on the chopper today, a Taylor homemade. Ooh. The first one on the block, and it looks like a goodie. Ew, I don't know why. It looks like they're skeletons. My sis Taylor made this one, and normally I'll call it a Colleen homemade, so I gotta call this one a Taylor homemade. Look at that. Oh, I don't know what's going on, but I see like skeletons in there. Maybe your sister thinks it is Halloween time. I don't know, just, just top it. Here it goes, guys. Ooh, this thing is getting really, really soft. I don't know what kind of slime or jelly is in here. Here we go. Ah! Woo! <laughs> Belize, I barely even touched that thing with my shishi and it just like exploded. What do we have here? Ooh! <laughs> it looks like some jelly slime with skeletons and sparkles. Oh, it's so pretty. She makes the best slime. I mean, I wish I could make slime like her. Whoa. Oh, oh, this is literally the softest slime I've ever seen in my life. The little skeletons are cute and the sparkles are like beautiful. It's perfect. 
so weird because you know what? Colleen always makes her homemade slime and her homemade squishies. And it's kind of different than this slime. I guess Taylor has her own way, a kind of formula. But I'm liking it. It's super silky. Feels like a gel almost. Look at that. Of the first Taylor homemade, we get some squishy skeletons. Oh, I love these things, they are so so squish. We got yellow, purple, we got like a turquoise, and orange. Ooh, I think I like this one. I go chopping crazy and I can't resist. I gotta chop up one of these little skeleton babies. Ooh. Squishy rubber. Ew, look, his arms are stuck in the slime. Okay, Bubble, one last poke and squish it because I love this so much. I like to squish it with the little skeletons inside. It's better like that. I cannot get my fingers off this. I could just literally pull this and stretch it and poke at it all day. One of the best slimes I've ever seen. Thank you, Taylor. Let's move along. Moving on from that skeleton slime. Oh, I love it. I could squish on it all day. Moving to squishy pea pod. Oh, wait a minute. The pea pod has a little message on it. It's in like Japanese. Oh, this thing is so cute, you guys. I cannot take the cuteness on this. I mean, it's so super simple. It's like a little rubber pea pod on a cell phone charm, but it's so, so squishy. And look at it. There's like two little peas in there. And there's writing on them. I can't really read it. It's in Japanese, but they're so... Ooh, they're slimy. It looks like little sunglasses. Look at that. Oh, I could literally squish on this forever. Look at this. Look at this. Those little peas pop out. I think they're like lima beans or something. Funny because now that I'm looking at it and squishing it a little bit more, they do look like lima beans. They don't look like peas. Peas are like little and round. These are like green beans. Chop it up. Oh, uh, here's how we're going to chop the pea pod. We are going to squish like that and chop out the lima bean. Let's see. There you go. I wasn't expecting that. Look at my fingers. There was some kind of oil in there. It's definitely not water. It's like an oil. Whew, smells bad. And there are our little beanies. And they are a little squishy too. They're more like on the rubbery side. I think we could chop them. Oh yeah. Yeah, a bubble this thing. This bean pod is literally filled with oil. It's filled with like peanut oil. Disgusting. And look at this. Look at this slippery little llama bean. It's the other llama bean. And if you guys know what this says, I'd love for you to tell me. I can't read it, but it's got some words or letters. Something in Japanese. Ooh, but it's so sticky. Sticky. It is like so sticky and like ruining your table that I got to chop it. That's what it deserves for making such a oily mess. There. Green bean. Chop it. There you go, you little green bean of titties. We got this little squishy rubber. I chopped it up. Ooh, it's just so, so oily. It's so sticky. I don't know why they did that. Maybe to make these little beans slide in there. We get this little piece of like, almost like a silicone rubber. Good one. Not so good, Bubba, because it was so oily. Ugh. 
And moving on to squishy number three, the last one. Oh, I liked it, but it was so, so oily. I don't know why it was so oily and greasy. But now we get a little cold pack. Little bare face. This thing is so squished. It is like ridiculously squishy. It's so funny that this is not a toy. It was in the pharmacy section and I just think there's Orbeez. I don't know if they're blue or they're clear, but it is so, so soft. It's like a velvet, almost like a terry cloth. And then the front is like an Orbeez spa. I'm going to chop the bear cold pack through the nose. Let's try it. Yeah. They're Orbeez. And they're clear! They are Orbeez and they're clear. I thought they were blue. I guess they're blue from the package. <gasps> they are so, so cool. And you know what? I thought even maybe there was some kind of like a gel in here. Nope, we just got pure little Orby. Little water balls. But look, it is raining Orbeez on the bear pack. Cool. The Orbeez that were inside of there, I don't know, they're not like the regular ones. I think these are filled with some kind of a gel because they're so tiny and they're super hard to like pop. I don't think they're the water ones. Oh, you just destroyed a perfectly good bear coat pack. Congrats. Well, Bubble, there's no time to worry about those little tiny Orbeez because we got another homemade poopy princess cup. Open it. <laughs> got my first ever homemade in a cup and not only a cup oh my sissy she found the cutest cup ever it's like a princess poop emoji and i'm thinking maybe she got it at walmart i really don't know but it's super heavy what's in here um, i don't know why but this poopy swirl emoji it looks like ice cream it looks super like yummy so time to race and i'm keeping this cup no matter what whatever's in here if i can clean it out i gotta keep this thing Ooh, she's coming on. There we go. Ew! Uh, I was not expecting that. I thought there was something in here, like a heavy slime or putty. Ew, but it is the poopy color. Ooh, yuck. This was so much cuter. Why'd she put that color in there? Oh, let's see. This is chunky slime poop with a little bit of sparkle. Like, I can't even taste it right now. Is that all there is? There's like, it's like a candy. What is going on right now? Oh, she really got me by surprise. Actually, I like it because it was such a weird surprise. I didn't expect this or look at these. She put these little Care Bear Mashems or Fashems. Ooh, they're squish. Got Shunshan Bear. Is that really the name? Sunshine Bear? Are you making it up? What's your real name on that one? Ooh, we got Jamal. We got... We got... Baby Blue. So cute. Oh, you guys, I think she put this because I used to love Care Bears. Care Bears and Smurfs were my favorite little cartoon growing up. And she found some of these. I don't remember this one's name. If you guys know, it's got light of like a shooting star. Oh, look at that little heart nose. So adorbs. I think this thing is filled with Care Bears. And poop it. What a nice mix. Ooh. Oh, this one is beautiful. It's like purple and it's got two lollipops or little maracas or something. Super squish. <laughs> Any more fishing for little Care Bears through the poop? Oh, we got this one. I think this one is grumpy. I'm not sure. It's got like a little storm cloud. I think out of all of these, my favorite is the yellow. It's so, so adorable. Am I supposed to chop these or what? Hello, here. Put the little Care Bears, the little squishies, to the side before you chop them. And look at this sparkle poop. It actually looks like an elephant poop. With sparkles. It's beautiful. And jelly-like. A big old hunk of poopy slime with a little bit of sparkle. And this is so different than this other kind of slime she made. This was like super soft and sticky. This one is a little more putty-like. And it's heavy. It's like five pounds of poop glitter stuff. Oh, look. 
Shop it. A Care Bear Poopy Burrito. Shop it. Yeah. Uh-oh, sorry to have to do this, but I got two. On the count of three, I'm chopping up the Lollipop Purple Bear. One, two, three. barely tell it's got a little incision in the head and this little mashem or fashion is filled it's filled with water still looks good does it look good bubble does this look good does it it looks better as a finger puppet okay and I am not chopping up the rest of these babies. I did the purple one just to see how much water was in there. Wow, it was filled. I think this is like the most filled mashem I've ever seen. But I still have these little cuties and I am not chopping them. No way. Too cute. Bubble, watch it. I can squeeze them together. Look at that. One big squisher ball. Amazing. Still got two more squishes left. I cleaned up that poopy with all those cutesy little care bears. And we're moving on to banana. Banana squishy with peel. Look at this thing. Oh, this banana just looks too real. It looks too real. It looks ripe. It looks delicious. Can I eat it? Or what? <laughs> Let me try to take the peel off and then we're gonna chop this baby because it is just so cool. I can't take it. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa, it pops right out of there. Banana. Oh, this is unbelievable. We got a squishy realistic banana and a realistic banana peel. Which one do you like better? Something was telling me that we got those mashed potatoes in here. I don't know why, but when I push it up like this, I could see that cream of wee weird squishy stuff. I got a little bowl. Let's see. Ew, it was. Mashed potato. Banana cream pie. Oh, you have some serious banana cream pie going on on your squishy chopping block. Look at that banana cream. Let's get some more. Actually, let's make some fruit salad. Look at this, look at this. Look at this. That's banana cream. Look at the little bowl. If that doesn't look like real bananas with cream, I just do not know. I mean, we got this banana looking rubbery stuff. We got that whipped creamy looking stuff or kind of like a mashed potato. And we got some banana peel. Chop that too. That banana peel in my fruit salad. It makes it so crunchy and good. Look at that. Look at this. It's delicious. So that is that. Nothing left to say. We got some crazy stuff. Ew, I don't even want to touch that cream. It is just so sticky. Got a little on my fingy. <laughs> on to the final. Okay, Bubba, whatever you say. Let's get to the final. Some green and orange bouncing play. Little tiger on there. Got the sixth and final right here. A little jar of bouncing clay. I have never seen this particular one. Let's check it out. I think bouncing clay is the stuff they make the bouncy balls out of. Don't you think so? Look at it. Ooh. Light as a feather. Why is it so light? Crazy. This is so so crazy because as soon as I like pull this out of here, it's so light. It literally feels like air. And I remember reading here it says soft and lightweight. For sure it is. I mean it's just the lightest, it's like the lightest squishy material ever. Look at that. Bubble, I think this feels like a mix between play-doh, slime, and like model magic. And look when you do this. Looks like a Laffy Taffy Pearl. Love it. Very convenient little container here so you don't mix the colors. You get two little slots. I love that orange. It's such a pretty neon. It looks like a cheese color. Like a mac and cheese color. And we get some green. Coolest stuff ever. I don't know. I gotta check and see how bouncy it is. But it is so squished. It has kind of a weird scent to it. It smells like glue. It smells like a cement, like a rubber cement. Here goes. Woo! Oh, that is bouncy. Whoa, that is bouncy. Let's try the orange. 
Yeah. When they say bouncy, woo, they mean bouncy. This little bouncy ball is so, so cool. I have squished clay. I've twisted it. I don't think I've ever bounced it before. Loves these little babies. And I am so tempted. I don't know why. I want to mix them together and make like a super huge rubber bouncy ball. Let's do it. Mix it too much, or the green will overpower the orange color. Make it like rainbow. Look at that. Such a big piece. One mix them. We got like a green and orange swirly going on. Let me roll it into a ball. Bounces, baby. There it is. Bubble, bounce it off the wall. Very nice, a little bouncy clay, I love it. Really, really good. The only thing I don't like about this is the smell. It's kind of strong, not the most pleasant one, but still love it. Bubble teams, that is a wrap. I've had my squishy feel for the day. We had crazy slimes, banana, we had a little cold pack, and some bouncy clay. My personal fave was the Taylor Homemade Balloonie with like little skeletons and beautiful sparkle slime. Loved it. I would love it for you little sweetie pies to so leave me a comment. Let me know out of all this stuff. What was your fave? What you liked? What you didn't? I'd love to know. And we are going to have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, just click this big yellow bubble with the bubble gum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.